supported those regulations Why in New York City, where the real estate is controlling you, Mr. Mayor, why are we having these horrible rent increases last year and this year? Okay, first, if you're going to ask a question, don't point at me and don't be disrespectful to me. I'm the mayor of this city, and treat me with the respect that I deserve to be treated. I'm speaking to you as an adult. Don't stand in front like you treated someone that's on the plantation that you own. Give me the respect I deserve and engage in the conversation. Up here in Washington Heights, Treat me with the same level of respect I treat you. So don't be pointing at me. Don't be disrespectful to me. Speak with me as an adult because I'm a grown man. I walked into this room as a grown man, and I'm going to walk out of this room as a grown man. I answered your question. Go to the He most certainly did not answer her question. And the woman who asked the question uh, was housing activist Janine Dubnow. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Now, her question that he, again, did not answer was concerning rent that Adams was too much of a coward to respond to. But it was about a recent rent increase made by NYC's Rent Guidelines Board. Now this board is comprised of unelected officials chosen by Adams, vetoed 5-4 for increasing rents for uh, rent, or voted, excuse me, 5-4 for increasing rents for rent stabilized tenants. And of course, as you'll see in this clip, NYC residents were not happy about this decision. <laughs> okay, I've got some more on uh, Eric Adams' horrible track record as it comes to housing policy. But Jackson, I got to bring you in on this first. I mean, he's sitting there like, I'm not a baby. I'm a grown man. <laughs> yeah, and it's like she, 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 she's an older woman. She was older right. than you. And, and again, like the whole thing, let's flip over the verse. He's like, I'm the, I'm the man of the city. Don't be coming up here talking to me like you crazy. I, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's just like, bro, answer the question. Um, it's a very legitimate issue. People can't afford uh, people can't afford their rents. People can't afford groceries. People can't afford many things, especially in cities like NYC, all over California, here in Jersey, where I'm at. But Eric Adams, ever since he was elected, he's just struck me as a really strange person, uh, and he really kind of he's just out there. I mean, who would do this? I can't think of anyone else who would do something like this. Like you just berated an old woman who can't afford her rent. She's an activist for people who can't afford their rent. You talking about some don't come up in here talking to me like this. Like, how is she supposed to talk to you? You know right. what I'm saying? You know, like what is she supposed to say? Exactly. And she wasn't even disrespectful. That's ex exactly it, especially because you know she's coming here with a very valid point, especially when we consider his track record when it comes to policies on housing. Now he recently blocked a set of housing bills that would have helped unhoused New Yorkers. We have this post from New York Working Families Party that says, Eric Adams veto of a critical package of housing bills condemns thousands of unhoused New Yorkers to overcrowding shelters and over policed subways. This comes mere days after Adams rent guidelines board raised the rents on over 2 million rent regulated tenants. And I mean, this is the guy who's made, you know, <laughs> this is the guy whose position has been, we need to get people back in person to work. This is the guy <laughs> who tried to take down drill music. For <laughs> that was his big crusade was to stop drill rap from, from, you know, taking hold in the city. I mean, I don't understand. He's, you're right, he's a very strange man, Jax. He's a very bizarre politician. I think he has no political instincts. And I genuinely, honest to God, don't really still even today understand how he became mayor of New York City. Yeah, I think it was just kind of uh, the unique time that he ran. We were still, you know, in the middle of getting over everything with COVID, um, and all, you know, just the backlash with that NYC being a city that got hit the worst. But I think that as soon as somebody with some real uh, charisma and bravado and half a decent track record comes along, they're going to blow them out of the water. Because like, if you got on, it's even just from a debating perspective, I mean, after seeing something like that, like you can't handle a little sweet old lady talking about rent increases, then you really, what can you handle, you know? Um, but I think he's going to be out of here relatively quickly. Um, could be wrong, but uh, he's just, he's just weird.